They say if you fill a steel drum with methanol and ignite it, it will shoot forward like a rocket. To test whether that actually works, they decided to build a pulse jet rocket car. When the methanol vapor inside the drum is ignited, it blasts out the back and produces forward thrust. At the same time, the spray gun, driven by pressure from an oxygen tank, pulses the fuel air mixture so it can be ignited repeatedly and generate continuous thrust. To reduce friction between the rocket car and the ground, Carly built a chassis out of bicycle wheels. She combined the oil drum and the nozzle, and a sleek-looking rocket car came together. They then poured 15 liters of methanol into the drum. Once ignited, the rocket car did move forward continuously, but the speed was far from acceptable. Glenn thought the nozzle was too large, which was wasting a lot of the flow's kinetic energy as the gas moved through it, so they made a smaller nozzle. That didn't change the speed much. With no other options, they called in a jet engine expert who guided a major redesign of the car. A one-way valve was installed at the front of the drum so that, when the gas detonated, all the exhaust would be forced out the rear. The most important change was to the pulse jet system. They increased the pulse rate from 5 times per minute to 80 times per minute, allowing continuous thrust. Here's how the heavily modified pulse jet rocket car runs. It's loud, but when it goes, it's astonishingly fast. To control its path, they installed steel cables along the test track so the car would run along them during the experiment. With everything ready, the car launched with a supercar-like roar and shot down the course. Its top speed reached up to 80 miles per hour. You've got to admit, that rocket car looks absolutely badass.